everybody. It's Mama D. I woke up like this. <clears throat> Anyways, I figured well, we have coffee together. I might pull some cards. I'm not sure. But anyways, I wanted to get a little background of why I started this channel. And it's really hilarious. So, um, I went through a huge growth process. And I am still ascending. I think we ascend every day. But anyways, I wanted to build self-confidence, right? And spirit is so, like, sense of humor is hilarious. So, I started this channel on February the 13th. And it was, you know, later in the day because I decided that I was going to love myself myself for Valentine's Day. I had gone through mm, some really rough times, right? So, I decided to start this channel as a confidence booster. And first I was like, I am not going to be on camera. Anyway, so I did like one or two videos not showing my face and I was like, but they can't see my face, <laughs> my facial expressions. Well, I'm supposed to be building self-confidence, so I decided to put myself out there. Well, you know, I got pretty, had my makeup on, whatever, whoop de whoop. And so the divine is like, okay, so you want to build self-confidence and put yourself out there? <laughs> You have to learn how to be comfortable with who you are. I'm saying all that to say this. So, the universe decides um, to send me not one sty in my eye, but two. Like, I think the first or second week I started doing this, which is not too long ago, you know, like. And I was like, but I have subscribers and like... I have to put content out there because nobody's going to follow me if I'm not putting content out there. So, long story short, um, I now have another sty in my eye. So, here I am. Just, um rare form that's why i laughed and said i woke up like this because you know to be honest oh i don't how do i put this so it's kind of an internal journey for me because i thought to myself okay i'm gonna put myself out there and i'm gonna look good and the universe is like, no, you're going to put yourself out there in your all-natural state. And the whole, I'm saying all that to say this. Basically, I don't care anymore. Right? Because in approaching you guys, I also healed myself. It's like, okay, people are going to either accept me for who I am or not. And that was like the biggest thing for me, self-confident is, you know, I don't have to put makeup on to feel beautiful. You know, I don't have to put makeup on for, you know, whatever reason. And not that I was used to be a huge makeup person, but it was a way that I perceived myself. When in actuality, I am a beautiful person. I think we all are beautiful people because we are all unique so having said all of that when my style clears up psh, i'm gonna be standing in that queen of wands energy like Pow! No, but anyways very true though so that's my coffee talk this morning i think the message is just no matter what be comfortable with who you are and when i say that i don't care it's not that i don't Hair. The fact of the matter is, I am okay with who I am now. And I just wanted to thank everybody for being a part of my journey. You know, liking, commenting. I love comments. I really do. 
I look forward to reading what, you know, people say as either confirmation or what they're going through. Because ultimately, I did start this channel as a confidence booster for myself. Yeah, but I felt like I had a message, you know, for others out there that no matter what, just love who you are. And when you're authentic to yourself, the right people will come along, you know. I've always said I don't need a lot of friends. I just need a loyal few. And that probably goes back to me being an earth sign. And I really don't put, you know, my zodiac chart out there. Because there's some really bad people in this world. You know, and their intentions are not right. And they do bind people. And that's just ridiculous. Because my message is not that of just all tarot. You know, my, mes my channel is a message of healing and if someone else, you know, can benefit from my story and I can give a little bit of faith and hope to others out there to stand strong, you know, stand in your power. You don't have to live your life being a victim or reacting negatively to other people, you know, and their perceptions of you. I've learned that it's not you that has the problem. It's them. And I've also learned that if something triggers me, then... I need to take a closer, you know, look at that because it's poking the bull, so to speak. And so why is the bull getting pissed, right? Because it's annoying. So something that I need to reflect on within myself. And that's been a lot of um, my twin flame journey, but I'm not going to get into all that because that has been a spiritual, you know, path for me. And I'm very blessed, I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful. Um, but ultimately, this journey had been about loving myself and finding who I was and standing in my power and not being afraid to put myself out there, you know, and just talk to people. Even though this is like I'm in my room, but I feel like I'm talking, and I am, to a whole world of people out there. Energies are connected. So, anyways, it's almost seven and a half minutes in, but I just wanted to maybe share a little bit of my experience and share yours below. I think we can be an inspiration, which, no, let me rephrase that. I know that we can inspire one another. Because the human spirit is a powerful thing. Right? So, anyways. Mama D, I just wanted to have coffee and share just a little bit of myself with everyone. You know? And maybe a little humor. Because I love humor. I crack up. <laughs> Sometimes at myself. And I'm going to tell you all the story about this green bloodstone tower that I have here. So I was at work and everybody, you know, knows I carry, I have crystals. Like I got, I'm just, just part of me. You know, I have healing crystals. I always, I'm an earth sign. So I love things. Anyways, to make a long story short, a very dear friend of mine actually did buy this for me and I'm going to do a reading for her today. We kind of just traded out but anyways, and it's special. She also bought me my pendulum. She's just been... Anyways. And then my other friend brought me this bracelet. I'm... Never mind. But I was at work. And someone that I know, you know, just I work with, I could tell she was just having a bad day. You know, my empath was like... So-and-so's having a bad day. So I just walked by her and I was like... Hey, are you okay? You're having a bad day? And she's like, yeah. So I just randomly pulled one of my crystals out of my pocket. And it was not this, but it was my own personal crystal. It was my green. I had a round green bloodstone. For some reason, the crystal just, you know, wanted to go with her. And I believe so. I said, here, you can hold on to my crystal for the day. I'll get it back from you, you know, when you're finished. No big deal. I have others. So anyways... A couple of days went by, and me and, you know, I saw her, you know, it was no big deal. Like, y'all know, yeah, okay, cool. So, anyways, um, I went and saw 
I went to the Emporium, the only Emporium that I go where I live. And a lady had gifted the shop owner some crystals, and this was part of it. And we had washed, she had washed it and purified, you know, blessed them, whatever. And so, I, me and my friend who bought me this were just sitting in the shop, right? Well, we went to the very back where all this stuff was, you know, laid out drying. And I saw this and I was like, <gasps> God, like, and my friends <laughs> saw my face expression and I was just like, oh, oh my God. It was just like this, like in your face. Like, sing it at me. I get tingly just thinking about it. It's so funny. But, anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, to make a long story short, I gave unselfishly of myself to someone because as a healer and light worker, that's what we do. You know, we don't know why we do things. Well, we do. But... We don't, right? We just do it out of the goodness of our heart, you know, because we don't like seeing people suffer. And that's a very hard thing is to learn to set healthy boundaries, and that's a whole other story, you know. But to make it short and sweet, I went back to work after my friend that I was with got this for me. I mean, she knew. She was just like, oh, she's got to have that. Like, this bitch right here is just gonna crawl, you know? <laughs> Whatever. So, anyways, I went back to work and I saw, you know, the, per the girl that I had lent my original bloodstone crystal to. And I told her, I said, hey. She said, what? I said, I want you to keep that crystal. She's like, you know, kind of got emotional. And I was like, that crystal was meant to be yours. I have another. So anyways, 12.22 on time clock. I will wrap this up. But I just wanted to share a little bit of myself with everybody. And say, you know, thank you for all of your comments. It really does mean a lot to me. So... There's a card that um, was popping out, and it's in this Magical Times deck, and I did not look in here because this was not planned. This is just let spirit talk through me and for me and for others. But there's a card in here that says, I think it's the card of love. It says, do there are a million reasons to love. There's a million reasons to love yourself. It's not how big of acts of kindness that you do it's really just the small things that matter the most in life it really is do something kind for someone without expecting anything in return my other crystal was about this big and look now I have a tower and it's strong, and it's beautiful, and it's built to last. Build your tower strong. Build yourself. There's a lot of downloads I'm getting. So anyways, this was not a card pulling session. This was a go get them, a motivation, sharing of myself. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. Um, and just spend the day being grateful for everything that I've learned, how far I have come. And I also want to be a part of your journey. I want to see everyone grow. So, I love everybody. And remember to love yourself first. Love yourself first, okay? And the rest will fall into place. Trust in the divine and the evil. Because without them, we're, you know, we're nothing but empty shells if we don't fill ourselves with goodness. Anyways, Mama D.